So I've come to get some pheasants off Coop's then, and this is his. Look at this. Selection of poultry for Christmas, Coop's? Yeah, they're, they're all for Christmas. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? Cockerels. What are they, Norfolk's? Norfolk Blacks crossed with a double-breasted bronze, a Norfolk bronze. Beautiful. a big beauty that's got my name on it yeah run now this is what you call shopping yeah that'll do then take them home get making that pheasant au van it's easy isn't it okay my friends let's cook Pheasant Ovan. Obviously then, Pheasant Ovan, it's a riff on that uber classic dish, Cock Ovan. Cock Ovan was a dish invented to get rid of all those tough, sinewy roosters and cockerels. So we'll go absolutely perfect with our pheasant here. Now you've just seen me collect these from my main man Coops. We are just over three weeks into our pheasant shooting season in the UK. These are this season's absolutely fantastic birds, but as the season moves along, you will get those tougher birds, more sinew, so of course this dish is ideal. Also, the beauty of this dish is you can use skinless birds, because I know how much of a ball ache it can be to pluck pheasants, especially when you've got tens of them, you know, loads of them, it's hard work. So if you skin them out, this is an absolutely ideal dish to use them with. Right then, a quick recap how we're gonna skin it out then. Very simple, very quick. Eyes down, look in, here we go. So what we need to do then, take the neck off. We've got the wings. There's that first join. Now obviously, this is proper field to fork cookery. You don't know what state your bird's gonna be in until you get into it, but that is just the way it goes. So, down to that first wing tip, as you can see, snap it out. There's the bone, knife under, nice and gentle, wings off. Then what I'm gonna do, this is the bit that you really wanna nail, just in each bend of the knee. One way, the other, as you can see there, the sinews, I wrap it round the drumstick. As you can see, you might be able to see the sinews there, and then pull, and that is your sinews out. You're still gonna have a few in there, but that gets the majority out. And like I said, this is about using these pheasants, so preparing them really quick. Anything you can do to speed that process up is brilliant, there you go. Next then, we are just going to take a piece of the skin, a flap, make a cut. As you can see, I've opened it up and basically just undress it. So peel it over the neck end, over the one wing. There's the neck. There's wing number two, and of course, down the back, pull over the legs, pull the tail off, and that pretty much is the basis of the bird we're going to be using. Next then, doesn't look very appetising does it, that's obviously a pellet is hit inside the gut, it doesn't matter. We are just going to nip the legs off by just snapping them out the joint, catching that oyster. 
and then through that gives us a thigh and a drumstick you can cut off any undesirable bits and then what we're going to do straight under the breast we are going to just rip it all off because we just want the breast meat on the bone just rip the neck off you can use poultry shears there's our pheasant crown so I'm just going to split it down then with a big knife we'll just take off the last of that backbone there's a bit of shot damage you can see the bone is shattered but we're going to in half with our breasts again with this side just take out any bits that remain the lungs again square that bone off in half and there we have our eight pieces of pheasant ready to go okay then there's our eight pieces of pheasant we will take it inside trim it up any bits we don't want give it a wash and that will be absolutely perfect and then we will cook our pheasant au van okay then let's get this show on the road as you can see then that beautiful pheasant I just prepared all nicely washed off looks fantastic now like I said on the bone skinned couldn't be easier what else have I got then I've got five cloves of garlic I've got 10 shallots well these are actually bigger shallots five of them I've just halved them give us 10 halves some button mushrooms some bacon lardons about 150 to 200 grams some parsley I've got some red wine some brandy to flambe it in obviously some oil and some butter now what you need to do then if you've got time overnight preferably is you get your pheasant and you marinate it in about 500 ml of the wine the longer the better so like I said if you want to prepare this the night before and leave it in the fridge then go for it as you can see it turns it a beautiful color helps to tenderize it next we need to take that out of the wine so we're going to wreck a tea towel take it out and give it a dry because what we need to do then is put some color on to fezzi here obviously retaining that wine because that is going to be part of the sauce and then it's a case of getting the hob on great big knob of butter into fantastic cast iron casserole dish I don't think you can beat them then we'll just season the pheasant some salt some pepper nice freshly cracked black pepper as per usual a glug of oil to stop the butter burning so once we're up to frying speed then lay in our fezzi now as per usual just a few pieces at a time so we don't crowd the pan we don't take the heat out of the pan that way we get a good sear and it sears it and doesn't boil it so just take your time with this just watch them in batches turn them over get a nice color on them right we got some color on our pheasant pieces obviously you're not going to get loads because it's got no skin on but as you can see there just a nice browning and take them out of the pan put them on a plate and next in with our shallots and our bacon lardons get a nice bit of color on the onions and also nice crispy bacon and the beauty of this all in one pot as you can see all these caramelized bits of pheasant at the bottom is all flavor and that's what we're doing is we're building up 
flavour profiles, stacking them one on top of the other. I know it sounds a bit technical, but all that means is it tastes amazing at the end. So, we'll let them just gently brown, and then we will add our pheasant back in to this pot, add some brandy, and get some fire going. So, our bacon and our shallots not only look good, but the smell is absolutely out of this world. Back in with our fezzy and any of the resting juices, it's all flavour. So we'll get those nicely buried into the pot. It's time to have a bit of fun. So, splash of brandy. In with the garlic. I'm cheating using a garlic press. The reason we're putting it in now is we don't want to burn it and make it bitter so in they go now just gently warm them through. Like I said we don't want to burn it. Smells are just absolutely wicked now. So in with that wine. There's 500 ml there that I marinated the pheasant in. So what I want to do is just put a little bit more in just to cover it more. So a bit in there. Oh, wee, wee, wee. And a bit in there. Just a pinch of dry thyme. If you've got fresh, put that in. It's just I forgot to buy some. But hey, baby, that's the way we roll. And we'll bring that up to the boil then. Then we'll get it into a very low oven, preheated to gas mark three. Check up there for the conversion for about 45 minutes and we'll check on it, see where we are. But that is pretty much it. Okay, that's gently coming up to the boil then. So what I wanna do is just add about a tablespoon of sugar just to sweeten it up, balance out the acidity in the wine. God, it sounds like I know what I'm on about. I can go over there. And then the mushrooms, we'll put these in towards the end because obviously this is going to cook for 45 minutes, maybe a bit longer, could be an hour, could be an hour and a half, you know, all depending on the bird. And what we want to do is we want to retain their bite, you know, in their structure. So we'll put them in about 20 minutes towards the end. It's just a case of judging when you need to put it in. But that's coming nice up to the boil then. So like I said, preheated oven, gas mark three, and wait for the magic to happen. Okay, my favorite bit, the reveal. We started off with one of those. And then we are left with this. Are you ready? Beautiful pheasant ovan. Now we just need to put some parsley on it, adds a bit of colour, a bit of flavour, and I think we shall give it a go. Well, not a bad looking pot of food if I say so myself. And as you can see, what I was on about the onions, they retain their shape. Mmm. I cooked this in the end for. Well, hang on, let me get into this. <laughs> About one and a half hours, like I said, judge it with your own birds. They will be different ages, different sizes. So I've got on that gravy. The flavours in that sauce are awesome. You can taste every component. But the main bit is, how was a pheasant? Oh, man alive. You know, this is proper field to fork, rib sticking autumnal game seasonal fodder and it is absolutely divine mm. and of course make a beautiful mash if you want to 
or cold cannon. Let's have a bit of that drumstick. Oh, so tasty. Or with a salad or as I prefer things like this, just a big, big plate of this and some crusty bread. And there you have it. Good old pheasant ovan. If you have a look at that breast meat, you can see it's obviously been poaching lightly on that low heat and it's absolutely perfect. Right, I've got to stop jiving. I have got to sum this up. It's one of them dishes where you can just keep going, but I can't. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project. And if you like what you've seen, please, please, please click subscribe down here. Also, check out my vast back catalogue of videos. A lot of butchery, game, meat, fish, the lot. There isn't a lot I haven't done, so be sure to check it out. Also, find me on my social media, Facebook, Scott Reed, The Scott Reed Project. And on Twitter, at The Scott Reed Project. Mm. So until next time then, be sure, all my hunting and shooting friends out there, get your pheasants, give this a go. It couldn't be easier and it is a great way to use up pheasants, you know, skin them and you're halfway there. Simple as. Right, I'm going to have a couple more thoughtfuls and that is it, I promise. See you again sometime. Hmm. Beautiful.